Can I talk with you all for just a few minutes? I promise not to be before you long if the Holy Ghost should say the same. But this morning, I need to shine some light on some things. And Moses had already made his plea to Pharaoh. And some of you have already made your plea to your bosses. And some of you have already made your plea to the things that has held you in bondage. And God says, just keep on worshiping me. Just keep on praising me. Don't you give up. Don't you stop. Just because it seemed dim, I got this under control. And he says, I need you to prepare some things because to be for sure after this, Pharaoh will for surely let you go. After this, what is this? What is this that we must do that Pharaoh will let us go? He says, I need you to prepare yourself. Children of God, we have to be ready to prepare. And how do we prepare? I'm going to share some things with you this morning on how to prepare to get your stuff back. I asked the question, do you need your things back? Do you have some stuff that you need? And you raised your hand. So I think we're all on one accord. He says, go prepare an offering. He says, then I need you to make a sacrifice. And he says, whenever you make this sacrifice, I need you to take the blood and I need you to dip a bunch in his and dip it in the blood. And I need you to put it on the lentils and the doorpost of the children of Israel. And he says, I'm going to send a deaf angel, a destroyer in the land. And he says, the blood will protect them, the children of Israel. He says, everything that's in the house will be protected. And what is the house, Pastor James? Everything that's up under the anointing of God, I will protect. Everything that has been under the blood, I will protect. So he says, I need you to go take a some goat, some sheep, and make this sacrifice, which represented the blood and the sacrifice of Christ. He says, I need you to get in the blood. Some of us need to get in the blood. He says, I need you to get in the blood. Stay with me, I'm gonna be with you shortly. He said, I need you to get in the blood. And so they went in to the house. And he says, I'm going to send a deaf angel, a destroyer, in the middle of the night, which about midnight. And he says, everything that has held you in bondage, everything that shall try to encapsulate you, everything that shall try to imprison you in the future, I'm going to destroy in the middle of the night, late in the midnight hour. God says, I'm going to turn it around and around and around and around. Some of us are at our darkest hour. We make the cliche, it is darkest just before dawn. But the truth is, it is darkest at midnight. So in your darkest hour, God says, I'm going to turn everything around for you. If you get in the blood, I need to be in the blood. He says, I'm going to destroy everything that has kept your family and everything that has held you bound for 430 years. I'm going to destroy it and everything that shall try to 
song of sound song I hear the sound of freedom everything that shall try to hold your mind in captivity everything that says I can't make it I'm going to destroy it in the middle of the night stop crying I can't just do he didn't give them an option an opportunity he said if they don't they will die with the children of Egypt get under the blood don't whine don't cry just do it Nike had a slogan just do it so what they won't hire me they won't give me a job so what how many times have you applied how many times was Oprah denied how many times did Luther Vendross get up there on the stage and they laughed at him how many free throws and jump shots did Michael Jordan take? He missed more than he took, but he just did it. Stop crying and stop complaining. Kick the door down and walk through it. Yeah. Yeah. The enemy been fighting. He thought he had me, Pastor.